everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a mukbang and it's special because I got Belanca in the house. Everybody say what's up. Hey guys. Hey. We're going to be talking throughout this whole entire video so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. And yeah, if you want to watch us stuff our face, then just keep on watching. Yeah. So for today's mukbang, we're going to be eating Chipotle. Have you never done a mukbang before? No. Huh? Is there, I, don't, I think that's how you say it. Mukbang, How mukbang. are you doing? Yeah, with Kathy. Oh, yeah, we you did. did. We did, did Love You Hut. But we today did. we are doing Chipotle. Mm. I, we both got bowls, actually. We both yeah. got bowls. We got chips. Two bags of chips. The goods. The goods. Um, the necessities. For dessert, I got... The taco. The taco cheesecake bites. And they're not from Chipotle. I don't really got desserts. And then Burger King just got these new... Why are you going to open them? These new like funnel cake fries, so I'm going to try that. Oh my god, my camera's dying. <laughs> All right, so guess what? We had a Monica moment, as we always do here. Um, <laughs> I did not charge my camera and it died, as you guys seen. I think I'm gonna insert that clip. So <laughs> we are using Blanca's camera, and my other little camera is charging right now. So if it swaps, like the different type of quality. That's what that is. Yeah. You're not tripping. I was tripping. I wasn't thinking. We were showing you guys our food, which you saw. And yeah, we asked you guys on Instagram to ask us some questions. So while we're munching out, we're going to be um, answering those. I'm taking a bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Before I eat, I need to put my hair up. Nothing's going to get accomplished if I can't put my hair up. Like, that just has to happen. I really wanted a burrito, but we had to get the kids' food and... Set up and so the first question that we got is from Lupita and she said, What helped you not be so shy or embarrassed to put yourself and your awesome talent out there? Um, I think I've touched I've talked about this before. My camera is a better time too. <laughs> but it's because we filmed a video. We filmed a video. We're just so um well put together and organized and on top of everything. It's amazing. Over here. You guys should really learn something from us. We because just we have it together and have it down like we know what we're doing for me personally I I was just telling her that when I made my first video I was so like loud and out there because I'm not I'm not a really like shy person I mean I can be but nine times out of ten I'm pretty out there um really bubbly so it wasn't really easy for me to turn on I love to be on the camera so it wasn't hard for me to turn on the camera and like you know, be all pretty or whatever and like act like that. But it was like hard to get used to um like talking to nobody. Yeah. And like getting comfortable with like talking to you or talking to the camera like how I would her or like a friend or something mm -hmm. like in person. So it was like kind of becoming friends with the camera. Because you don't know who's gonna watch it too. Yeah, so it's like who am I talking to mm -hmm. like right now, you know? So I was never really I mean looking back, my first video was embarrassing to say yeah, the least. No embarrassing but you were excited but i was excited mm -hmm. you guys can see it don't go look at it um but it's there we all do and yeah i've always kind of just been like, all the way out there so never really been shy for me like when i first started if you go to my first video which is also cringy i was super shy and quiet like my voice was all like low yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really was the more i did videos the more comfortable i got um, so really you just have to like put yourself out there because if you just constantly think like I'm not gonna do it I'm too shy. I'm too shy. You're never it's never gonna happen. You're never gonna do it Like you just have to do it and you eventually get comfortable because you do get way more comfortable you It's not that you're not yourself in the beginning, but it's kind of hard to fully translate how you are and who you are But once you like have people that interact with you and you have like a flow going on It's it makes it a lot easier definitely if you're thinking of, if you're asking because you're thinking of starting a channel you just have to go for it and kind of like face that fear of yeah. like being shy. Um, I got a question by Joanna and it says, are we related? Me and Monica. And in a way, yeah. Yeah. Not like blood related, but we're in-laws. So my husband is Monica's fiance's twin brother. Twins. So, like twins. Twins. Like our Insert photo here. They are <laughs> twins. Our prom picture? Our prom picture, that's the exact one I was yeah. thinking about. Yeah, Alright, you notice anything different? I bet you didn't. No, you probably did. It's fine. Again, moving on. Not talking about it. It was funny. So, earlier when we were filming for her channel, Tyler came in here 
and he was talking to her or whatever and I was I wasn't paying attention I was just like on my phone or I was doing something I wasn't looking at Tyler and then I hear babe or like hi babe or like, bye babe or something mm -hmm. like see that you later. see you later or something I didn't say anything and I said I heard babe again and then I turn around and it was Josh talking to me and she started laughing she's like did he even say anything to you because I legit thought it was Tyler they, they have, have the same voice, voice. The oh same voice. Oh my god. <laughs> Kruboom. It is Kruboom. I got here, Josh, and I'm like, what's going on? Like, I was, when I was staying here last year, and Tyler was, like, back home, but I would hear Josh playing video games, I was like, oh my god, he sounds just like Tyler. <laughs> We're sister-in-law. So we're sister-in-law. It was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? It was dope. It was dope. It was fun. We went to school together. Yeah, we went to school together. So. We've was, known each other a long time. We've known each other a long time. Since English. That's brown. Yeah. No, photo imaging. Huh? Photo imaging. Photo imaging with Mr. Heinrich. You were in my class. And then we had... Um, Ms. Brown, was that the same time? Mm-hmm. That was? Mm-hmm. I remember that. I remember we had braces and everything. Clearly ass hair. You'd wear belts. Remember <laughs> I that? I would wear belts. You would wear belts. All Mexican. <laughs> yeah, all fucking Mexican, bitch. So, we have another question. And this is from Stu Man Lopez. And she said... What's the hardest part about raising kids? Y'all got time? <laughs> Y'all got time today? It's not, it's it's not easy. You can't just like... The hardest thing... I mean, it's just making sure you're always doing your best and trying to not lose your cool. I feel like... They're little people. You need to understand them. Because however you react to them now... Will affect them when they're older, regardless yeah. if you do good to them, if you do bad to them, it's gonna affect them and you wanna do it in the right ways. So it's like finding those ways. I mean, and it's hard to know what the right way is. Yeah, you don't just know the right way. Their minds are just like little balls that just suck up all the information and everything they see, their surroundings, what they hear. I think this the hardest part for me is like, worrying if I'm making like a good human being, mm -hmm. like a nice, person that's just gonna be like nice to people and mm -hmm. so i already know i'm giving him a better life than you know than i was i mean i'm not saying i had a bad life my parents gave me everything i had but you know like we had our issues like every family mm -hmm. i just feel like me and my husband still have such a, like a great relationship that he's not growing up in certain bad environments so like that already helps shape them and it's just scary that they can be like bad human beings maybe but we're and just trying like, our best and that's what's hard that's probably what's hard too is like yeah. that they do have their own personalities and their own ways that they're gonna act learn to adapt to hit their personalities learn yeah. to adapt to their different names you're gonna see when you have lucas yeah, that like they're now. two different mm -hmm. personalities they're gonna be two different kids anthony and jerry are completely different there ain't no booked for it you just Kind of winging, honestly. But overall, it's hard. <laughs> overall, it's like, just it's not, but it's overall, hard. it's like all hard, you know, because you don't like. You don't really like she said, there's out. no like way to know a book that tells you this is exactly what you're gonna do, and you're gonna have perfect kids. Like the fuck, someone said, are we twins? Who? Someone said, are you guys twins? Oh my God. No, we're not. <laughs> like we've actually been like told that I feel like that we look alike. That we look alike. Yeah. And I think it's just because of like our makeup's always fucking. Snatched. I think this is the way we do our makeup. Mm -hmm. All right, how's that going from how you thought it would go? That's from Lucy. How is life going versus like how we thought it would? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't stars. I didn't think I was gonna get pregnant when I was 15. So that kind of like threw everything off for me from the get go. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I got can't even. I can't even say what I thought my life was gonna be because my life changed so drastically so early. Your life started at a young age, mm -hmm. so it's hard to like remember what you were thinking like that. Yeah, I really ago. don't. Yeah. I really don't know what I was thinking I was gonna do. I did wasn't gonna have a kid at about 16, but it happened. And this is where I'm at. It was a completely different plan, but. It was my plan that was already made out for me regardless, so. Yeah. I don't know, that's kind of my answer for that. Mm, so she said, how's it going though? Like, like how do Good. you feel? Oh, how do I, oh, how do I feel about it? How do you feel about your life? I love my life. Yeah. I love my life. It can't have been better, right? Yeah, it can't have, I can't imagine my life without Anthony. Yeah. And before that, like it's. And it led you to where you are now, mm -hmm. like everything that happened. Yeah. I'm gonna trade it. I'm gonna trade it for the world. And we still have so much time. What yeah, we're, we're freaking young. Dude, I was about to say we're 23. No, bitch. And we're about to be 25. 25. For me, when I was like in high school, I always thought I was going to go to college for, you know, four years, get a degree. 
But I always said I wanted kids at 23. Um, I had my son at 20, so that wasn't bad. And I did. I went to college for like one year only, and then I, I dropped out when I was pregnant with Sebastian because it was just like a lot to go to school and be pregnant and work full time. Like I. I honestly like couldn't do it because I was working so much. I didn't imagine my husband joining the military. I mean, I knew I would be with him because I've been with him since high school. So I imagined my life with him since high school, which is kind of when you start thinking of your future. So I knew I wanted to be with him and have his kids. So that's, yeah. you know, it's, it's you going go. good. I just didn't imagine the military. <clears throat> it's a hard life. It's really fucking hard. Um, but... I mean, it's a good life. Like we have a good life, and they got to travel. We've live gotten to travel a lot. In cool places. Yeah. Compared to how I imagined it, it's very like it's kind of like how I imagined or what I hoped, I guess. Because you can imagine whatever you want. It's not gonna be. I mean, I guess yeah, because you're putting it in the universe. Like, you happy good. with your life? I'm happy. I'd be like, I'm not trying to be picky. Not saying I'm ungrateful. Like I love my life, but I think I'd be like even happier if he wasn't in the military like when we're here and we get to be with everyone it's so nice fun. but we know it's like not gonna be forever because we know we have to go back we have good family good friends and like we have a good time a lot of blessings in one place and they always yeah. have to leave and we them. don't get to enjoy it like year round pretty much mm -hmm. that's the only thing that does suck like okay guys we're getting super full <laughs> we are getting so tired we've had to keep waiting because our cameras keep dying so we've just been chilling talking so our food's been sitting but we ain't stopping until we're done. So, not with our food. I mean, like, with these questions. Yeah, I'm kind of full. full. <laughs> yeah. That's what. Ooh, she's ready to go to sleep. Oh, my prayer was. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. The question that we got was, um, what do you like about being on YouTube and what do you dislike about being on YouTube? Okay. What I dislike about YouTube is the pressure to feel the need to always 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 putting something out and stressing myself out over it and mm -hmm. getting so mad when something's not working out because i want to get a video up for you guys you guys are always super cool about it about like taking time my mental health is more important you know you guys are always so patient and i love you guys for that and that's what yeah that's what i love about youtube is like the fact that i have you all in my life now because you know three years almost three years ago i didn't so the fact that like you guys are here now and I feel like I have a bunch of new friends, it's kind of cool and I kind of like that bond. So that's what I really like about YouTube is the fact that it kind of opened me up because I don't have subscribers just here in the States. I have them all over the world, which is really, really cool that, mm -hmm. you know, my little channel is reaching, you know, people in the Philippines and yeah, Europe and all cool. that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. I don't like always feeling the need. I mean... Of course, I always want to put content out for you guys. That's not what I mean. I just mean like always beating myself up to get something out and being mad at myself when I don't and stressing about it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think any video is worth doing that to yourself. Like stressing so, out and yeah. Out. So, I've been really good at when something isn't working out or whatever. I have been really good at not forcing it. I've been really good at just being like, all right, I'm gonna just wait an hour. I'll come back and we'll get things popping. That's a good answer. Yeah, because it is Decorate, stressful. Right? Like when you like, we like put stress on ourselves that like, we like think people expect things, but it's really like our, the reflection of what we expect from ourselves. We just try to make it so we feel like a strong pressure sometimes. And then sometimes when you, when like just little things go wrong, like, um, oh. what a little, Mo, get it together, man. Where are you going? She's like, I'm sorry. Look at her in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess like my favorite thing about YouTube is pretty much like the same answer as Monica is like having like a platform and having like people that you just talk to and like worry about you. I learned from you guys, you guys learn from me and we're just like a little like a real relationship. Like a little yeah, like a relationship, like a little tiny YouTube Bam. family because we are considered micro influencers. Our channels are very small, but but I feel like we like have like a good audience behind us. But for sure, the worst part is like the pressure that we put on ourselves. It has really nothing to do with like you guys. You guys, you guys don't be like put it out, put it out, put it out. No, yeah. But it's just us wanting to get things out because yeah. you guys are waiting. You guys are so awesome to us. Mm -hmm. We want to be so awesome to you and put out content. But sometimes when you force things, it doesn't work out. That's right? pretty. It's pretty much the same thing, like mm -hmm. the same same concept. And I think that you can almost ask any upcoming YouTube influencer, and I think a lot of people would say the same thing. So we answered the question about what we don't like about each other or whatever. Um, so in the past, we've had like a lot of misunderstandings, like years back. But 
I mean, we're cool now. Honestly, it was just being young and we were just you know, better than when we were like fighting and fighting. Like, ain't no one got time for drama. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Drama's boring. We laugh about it yeah, all the time. Like, we're just like, why? Why? Why were we like that? It's like so much time <laughs> what did we do? Like, yeah. We had all that time of like being friends yeah, there, pretty yeah. much and we were like rivaling but so that's the real tea that's the real tea that was the past we, we didn't like each present. other but you know what yeah now we do and i feel like a lot of friendships are like that like sometimes at first they don't like each other you don't like each other. other and that's how you know it's going to be a real friendship because if you can hate them you can also love them hard so true love and that's hate it is love really thin line between mm -hmm. love and hate oh that's a song yeah, that's a song. That's I think maybe song. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, we are full and we are out of questions. Thank you so much to everybody who reached out to us and asked us stuff. You guys are awesome. We love you guys. Thank you for interacting with us. Before you leave my channel or when you leave my channel, please go to Blanca's channel, subscribe, go ahead and watch her video that we did as well because that's a good one. By the time this video goes up, I'm sure hers will be up we're already. We're trying to get them up on the same day. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to do that. So y'all might be seeing it the same day. You guys got yeah. some content to watch, some stuff to watch, get a snack, y'all yeah. get comfortable. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already part of our family. And yeah, I will, I'll just see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.